Hello. Welcome to Emmy. Okay, great. Now, you're here to learn about hyperlipidemia, which can mean you have high cholesterol, high triglycerides, or both. Okay, so you may have been told you have hyperlipidemia, which I know is kind of a mouthful. Since hyperlipidemia usually means high cholesterol, that's what I'm going to call it. So I'm sure you're wondering, how did I get this? Well, high cholesterol can be caused by a lot of things. Some of them you can't control, like your age and family history, but other things can also play a role, like what you eat, being overweight, diabetes, drinking a lot of alcohol, not exercising or getting regular activity, smoking, and some medications you take can also create problems. Now, high cholesterol is actually pretty manageable, and I'll get into this more later on. But first, let me go over a couple of things so you have a better idea of what this condition really is. First, let's talk a bit about cholesterol, which is a kind of fat that can build up in your blood. And even though I'm talking about managing high cholesterol, I'm not trying to say all cholesterol is bad for you. There are actually both good and bad types. Let's take a look at one of your blood vessels so I can show you what I mean. Okay, bad cholesterol is called LDL. It collects in the walls of your arteries and makes it harder for blood to pass through. So think L for low because that's where you want it. Now, good cholesterol is called HDL. It actually cleans out some of the bad cholesterol, which opens your arteries back up again. So think H for high because, again, that's where you want it. Okay, when you have high cholesterol, it means those levels aren't quite where they should be. Maybe your bad cholesterol is too high, or your good cholesterol is too low, or both. It can also mean something called your triglycerides are too high. Triglycerides store the calories you eat but don't use. They're another type of fat that can clog up your blood vessels, sort of like bad cholesterol. But what's the big deal about having too many of these fats like cholesterol and triglycerides in your blood? After all, you probably feel just fine. Well, high cholesterol usually doesn't make people feel bad. But when fats pile up in your blood vessels, it can make it harder for your heart and other organs to get the blood and oxygen they need. And unfortunately, this can lead to some pretty serious health problems. Things like heart attacks, coronary artery disease, a stroke. Dementia, where it's harder to think and remember clearly. Pancreatitis, which can mean a lot of pain in your belly. And here's one for the men. It can also lead to erectile dysfunction, or ED, where it's difficult to get an erection. Okay, I know all this might sound a bit scary, but like I said before, even if your cholesterol isn't the best right now, it doesn't have to stay that way. I hope you found this information useful. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best of health.